The original sin where you talk about law enforcement problems um, and Republican attitudes toward law enforcement, particularly of the FBI on this stuff, the original sin from both media and the intelligence agencies and, and, uh, and federal law enforcement is the Russiagate stuff. And the reason that so many in the party, and I'm here as the translator because I'm not one of them, but so many in the party accept so much of Donald Trump's behavior is because the Russia stuff was a lie and nobody paid for it. No, it wasn't. Well, it wasn't all a lie. It yes, wasn't. it's not the, the, all a lie. You guys have it, been ri- the, no, the, Are you, are you no, guys going to do a steel dossier on me? No, no, here? no. That, that, well, that some of the steel dossier yeah. was true. Okay, you know, th- this... Like, this, we did Mueller report for three years. Yes, and, and Mueller never time, said he was innocent. Yes. And the whole time, I'm like, guys, I don't think he's a Russian plant. And everyone on CNN said is looking he, at me like I'm crazy. And at the end, we get to not much there there. Which no, was there the was case quite throughout. a bit there. There was a lot there. was there. a lot there. Yeah. There was collusion we never had before. It was unprecedented. That a president would do that. He just did it in public because yeah. he's insane. You do know. He's, he, <laughs> no, I, he's, I do think. I think one of the advantages of being insane. And most of it, probably none of it was illegal, right? So I mean, this, this was he's, always David Frum's line. E- everything he's doing is in plain view and it's not illegal. He's just violating every political norm we have. Except, except there are things. There were things that were okay, illegal, like you know, using the FISA court to spy on American citizens in ways that they should not yeah, have done. That, 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 that was legal, right. but that wasn't him. That's right. That's right. And You're the right. fact that the Hillary Clinton campaign right. was partially responsible for funding this dossier, which partially came from, but, oh wait for it, Russian disinformation. It was a, <laughs> and it started okay, but, this cycle I, I, of media circle jerk, and then we had four years of that. I think it was his own election authority guy who said something like, I, I can't believe I have to explain this, but it is illegal to accept anything of value in an election from a foreign national. He accepted things of value. He, his campaign manager was trading campaign information with a GRU agent. That's not collusion with Russia? What about the meeting yeah, with Don Jr.? Having, I have dirt having on... having Paul Manafort I mean, run your campaign. It's, I don't, like, it, it's, Paul it's, Manafort it's, has been... Yeah, it's, did illegal things, it's, right? That's, it's, it's just okay. like Paul Manafort is like a 200-pound gold bar in the closet. I mean, it, <laughs> it's just, it's just, the, 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 the transgression, the unseemliness of it is right it's, on the surface, given his it's, contacts with, well, and with I, Russia. So I'm, I'm it's not exactly everything they said it was, but it, it's not nothing. The standard of evidence used for the Russia thing for three, four years versus the standard of evidence used now in media for Biden and Hunter Biden's shenanigans mm. and fairly obvious influence peddling is worlds apart. Worlds yeah. apart. And I would just like to... And voters deserve fairness in how these two people are treated. They do not get it, and they sometimes don't get it from law enforcement. Okay, and that's so, bad. Yes, I mean, there's a lot to untangle here. But the, I'll completely grant you that if you know if Hunter Biden had been Don Jr. if it right. had been Don Jr.'s laptop, everything would change in terms right. of the, the reception. And that seems like an unfair asymmetry. But the background reality is, we have never had a person like Trump in our politics, certainly not in the lifetime of anyone in this, in this studio. And he has, vi- he has shattered every norm. I mean, we didn't even know we, how much we relied on norms. I mean, we're, yes. we're a nation of laws, right. but more well, important than the laws are the norms, like, like, like committing to a peaceful transfer of power when you're, when you're a president. I mean, that, that was the most shocking violation of, of you know, normal democratic principles, yeah. I, I think, mean, in our I history. Agree, I agree with you about the norms, and here's the problem. A bunch of people, including in the justice system, looked at Trump and said, he's going to bust all the norms. And you know what we need to do? Bust all the norms to stop him. And that is oh, a very, not very all, no, unhealthy yeah. decision. It, it's unhealthy. Okay. I'll get right. to that. But. Got to stop. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. Time for new rules.